Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at Hollywood Studios. I wanted to come out and see what's new since the last time I was here. Also ride some rides and eat some food and hang out in Toy Story Land because I'm wearing my Woody shirt. So, let's go do this. The temperature is absolutely beautiful today. It's 80 degrees with a little bit of wind, blue skies, and I love Hollywood Studios like this. Oh, look at these people dancing right here. That is pure Disney magic right there. I love seeing people happy in the parks. I think that's why I bonded with Walt Disney World so much is because it's the happiest place on earth and everybody's having a good time and on vacation. And that's why one of the reasons I absolutely love coming here to see happy people. I think I'm gonna head straight to Toy Story Land because I want to get some cool photos with my Woody shirt And I feel like that's a good tip if you plan on getting some nice photos get them first thing because later on in the day You're probably gonna get sweaty. I know I am. I don't want to be taking no photos later And I believe the best way to start a Hollywood Studios day is a good run on Slinky Dog Dash Which is one of my favorite attractions. I just love the way you kind of like zip along. It's so much fun actually it said about 45 minutes and I think I waited just around 30 so that's not too bad not too shabby Oh, I love this ride. It is so fun especially in a hot day because you get all that wind Oh boy <laughs> Oh <laughs> got a friend in me <laughs> that was literally like I said probably the best way to start a day because it gets your blood running and you just get in a feel-good mood of course I feel like I need to stop to Woody's lunchbox to get something to drink and maybe something to snack on right now the mobile ordering is actually suspended for the day and you can actually go up and order from the cash register which seems a little odd I don't even know if I know how to do this anymore because I'm just so used to doing mobile ordering so it'll be nice to just go up there and tell them what I want I absolutely love how much theming is put inside Woody's lunchbox like it is so amazing that they actually put this much like hidden little details in just a quick service stand and that's why I love it so much I'm gonna show you some of those cool details and even some hidden Mickeys. You can see the one hidden Mickey right here. Yep, right there you see it's perfect. Take a picture and then, too because mom wrote Andy a note. Oh, and mom wrote Andy, Andy a note. Mom. Look at that. This is really awesome. Love mom. Oh, see the details. The details are there. This is of course the lunchbox itself and Andy actually used chewing gum to prop up the top of the lunchbox with the thermos. You see how there's like some green gum there? He's using that to prop it up and then of course you see the carrots and the celery and then there's a hidden Mickey up here I want to show you too but first I want to order my food. Hi! <laughs> Can I get a uh, Bud Light? And then also the tachos? And then, of course, right here is the second hidden Mickey. Hi! You see something? We have a hidden Mickey here. It's right there. Oh, you got another hidden Mickey. Oh, there's one up there, too. Look at that. Oh, fancy! Tons of hidden Mickeys. Yes, most people don't know about those. It's not even in the book. Oh, I love it. 
Thank you. Like I said, it's such a cool thing that they put so much detail in to just like a little lunchbox. I applaud Disney for that. But not only is the lunchbox cool, but the food is pretty cool as well. I got the tachos, but I didn't get the uh, cheese sauce that goes on it. I'm not a big fan of the cheese sauce, but you still got the chilies and then the Frito-Lays and then the tots and then even some green onion on top. And of course, a good old Bud Light. The biggest Bud Light in Hollywood Studios. 22 ounces they got here. These are so delicious. I, like I said, I didn't even know they had Frito-Lays inside them. But, I mean, I love tater tots as it own. And now I add a little chili and Frito-Lay. That's a perfect combination. And we get to just sit here and eat our tots and drink our beer. And listen to the Alien Swirling Saucer soundtrack. I can honestly say that those tachos are probably one of the best quick service things you can get at Hollywood Studios. I mean, I love them. And like I said, I didn't get it with the cheese, and they were still phenomenal. So if you like cheese, chili, uh, Fritos, and then tater tots, it's right up your alley. I love Woody's Lunchbox, but what I'm really excited for is Woody's Roundup Rodeo Barbecue, which is gonna be the sit-down restaurant here, and it's coming very soon. Look at this artwork. This is gonna be such an amazing restaurant. I love barbecue, but look at the inside. Oh, this is gonna be, oh, the waiters are gonna be dressed up like Woody. I like it. And it's gonna have all the different characters just throughout the whole restaurant. It's like you're gonna be dining in Toy Story Midway Mania. Now I think I'm gonna move along and head down Sunset, maybe check on Tower of Terror. That's another favorite ride of mine. I mean, Slinky Dog, Tower of Terror, all in one day, that's a successful day. It's getting close to park close. I think we close at seven o'clock today. So I'm hoping that maybe there's not a long, long line for the Hollywood Tower of Terror. If there is, we'll assess the situation when we get down there. But it's just nice to be walking down Sunset Boulevard here. This is another part of my like favorite areas of Hollywood Studios. The trees, the lights, the music. It's all amazing. One thing I absolutely do miss is Fantasmic. I wish that can come back because that was such an amazing show at night. And I miss the music and just being able to sit down and relax and enjoy a good show. And that was like one of the best spots to like just chill out. You know what I mean? Out of all the nighttime shows where you have to at the stand or, you know what I mean, try to fight to get a good view, Fantasmic just had great seating where you can just relax and you don't have to rush. And that's why I liked it so much. And hopefully that'll come back soon. It looks like Rock and Roller Coaster is 30 minutes and the line is starting here, but that's because it's got such a blown out queue. I'm not sure about the Tower of Terror, but we'll see here. It's saying 45 minutes, and I think by the line, they're right. It's probably about 45 minutes. Oh wow, it actually looks like it's longer than 45 minutes. I mean, we're going, we're in Fantasmic. We actually might be able to go see Fantasmic at this point. I think I'll actually come back and visit the Tower of Terror a little bit later on. I feel like it's gonna probably get to like a 20 minute late as it gets closer to the park close. And plus, you'd only be waiting like during the sunset, not right now when the sun is peeking down on you. So we're gonna come back in a little bit, check on it, and there's other things that we can do. So we're gonna move out of Sunset Boulevard and over by Echo Lake. Did I also mention I'm wearing my Woody sneaks today too? And look, they even say Andy. One of the newest relaxation station is actually in Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. That'd be really cool to actually go sit down there. I really wish they were doing the show though. It's hard to socially distance in that big venue. Maybe we'll go down there. I want to see what it looks like. Wow, this is really cool. I haven't been in here in such a long time. And you see how they have the yellow tape. So that's basically one single area. But this is something I miss kind of, and I didn't do it that often when I should have. I feel like now we are appreciating things that we take for granted. You know what I mean? Especially when it comes to like Disney and shows being canceled. Like I wish I can go back and watch Finding Nemo again and all the other shows that I haven't like really spent a lot of time doing. But it's so hard because there's so many amazing things going on at Walt Disney World. I love these gigantic like helicopter <laughs> blade fans. That is definitely one of the funnest relaxation stations, I think, around. Because you get those gigantic fans and you get something to look at. Really nifty that they opened that up. 
and now it looks like Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is only a 30 minute wait. So it's almost an hour to ride the Tower of Terror, but the newest attraction to Walt Disney World is 30 minutes. It's pretty phenomenal. Not only is it awesome that it's only a 30 minute wait, but the AC is so amazingly like pouring out of the vents in here. I feel so cool and relaxed. Looks like we got row number two, so we're gonna have the plexiglass. If you're by yourselves or if you're two people, try to sit on the ends. So like I'm gonna sit closest to the end because then it's a little bit better because you can kind of look on the outside of it. Oh, we're kind of stuck here so we can see Mickey and Minnie driving in to run amok park right here. You see them up in the corner there? favorite hidden Mickey right here. It says M-I-C-K-E-Y in the grass. You guys see it? It, it spells it out. Isn't that amazing? M-I-C-K-E-Y. Well, that was so much fun. Literally, the line went like that. 30 minutes, not even. And I like that some attractions are quick to get on. It's just, I think Tower of Terror is just like keeping up with the time. It's such a popular ride. I know that sometimes when a new ride opens up, the other rides go down a little bit, but I feel like Tower of Terror just goes strong and it's always popular. So we're going to head back that way and we're going to actually see what the wait time is. Hopefully it went down a little bit and uh, we can drop in. Definitely a lot better. Before we were going all the way up to Fantasmic. Now it just seems like maybe half the wait time. Oh, I love how we actually just walk through, but I do miss the actual Twilight Zone video that plays. It was always such a cool thing, and everyone always screamed. Like, if it was your first time riding this, you're in that room and they shut the lights off, I think everyone screamed. Oh, nice. We got row one. This is my favorite. Oh. You ever notice that it actually makes that little like electric spark? Thank you. You were the very elements the Twilight Zone.
dark side of Hollywood. Make sure you know just what kind of vacancy you're filling, or you may find yourself a permanent resident of the Twilight Zone. That is always so much fun. It actually wasn't that long of a wait, so it, it was posted 45 minutes, but because I know we weren't all the way up in the Fantasmic area, that it was gonna be less than that, because earlier we seen it was a 50 minute wait and it was starting at Fantasmic. Here, I started at Joffrey's, and it was about 25, maybe 30 minutes. Not too shabby. It always gets better as it gets later. You notice earlier, Rock and Roller Coaster was at a 30 minute wait and the line started here. And now the line is basically at the entrance of the queue. So that means it's probably about a 15, 20 minute wait. That's why I like to wait until later on. Like as it veers seven o'clock, right now it's six o'clock, things definitely drop down. I can literally just sit on sunset, listen to this music for hours. <laughs> this is beautiful. And it's kind of like we're watching the sunset on sunset. It is like the perfect golden hour. Absolutely beautiful today. I am having so much fun. I do need to run home though because I need to check on my Gracie girl. Uh, if you guys have seen my Instagram, you know that I had, uh, well she had a little incident with another dog and uh, I didn't want to leave her side so that's why there was like a little gap in days with the videos. I took uh, about three to four days off just to kind of sit with her and make sure she was fine but uh, she's doing good and uh, I don't want to be away too long so we'll go home and uh, we'll check out on her and see how she's doing. I'll bring you guys along with me so uh, you can say hi to her too. And that's why Hollywood Studios was the perfect part today because it closed at 7 o'clock. So just in time to get home. Oh, wow. Look at the Hollywood Tower of Terror from here. This is beautiful. As I'm walking out, I run into a friend who watches the channel and uh, he had some things that he customly made with this 3D printer and he gave me one. And take a look at this. This is from a 3D printer. I think that is so amazing. So thank you so much, Caleb. <laughs> Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. That is unbelievable. Thank you so much. Wow, and holy moly, look at the moon as we're walking out right now. That is such an amazing picture. An amazing skyline, too. What? You happy to see me? What? Are you happy? What? 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 Ooh, shake it up, butt. Huh? <laughs> what? So, yeah, Gracie, she had a little, little instance. She has to wear this donut for a little bit. She had a drain tube in, but the drain tube came out actually just the other day. But she's feeling a lot better. You see, she was excited to see me. She's like, yes, I am excited to see you. Yeah, she's doing good. But, oh, let me tell you something. When she got hurt, it was like a knife in my chest. Like I was like, <gasps> and I like I remember I panicked and everything like that. You can see she has a lot of staples still in and they come out in like 10 days. But what a little champion you are. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And Gracie says thank you. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.